Joining us now is Helen Yu, founder and CEO at Tigon Advisory Corps. Now, Helen, our online presence is larger than ever, and by proxy, our digital security is as important as ever. So how is cybersecurity shaping our future? I see the cybersecurity role crossing present day boundaries and leadership circles. It will be part steward of an organization and part protector. It will be everywhere and impact everyone. I also believe cybersecurity leaders will have a, a tremendous impact on the culture of an organization because as the old sayings goes, we are only as strong as the weakest link. So everyone within the organization will contribute to cybersecurity. That perhaps is the biggest change between the present landscape and how cybersecurity leadership will evolve by 2025 and beyond. Now, as technology evolves, how does the line between benefit and potential risk move? The benefit and the risk are going to move in tandem. Uh, if you think about AI, right, it can enhance the threat hunting process, can reduce the cost of hardware maintenance by alerting when you have to fix an equipment. However, AI, machine learning, and threat intelligence have to learn from past experiences in order to recognize patterns in data to enable security systems. This implies a breach has to happen first for AI to learn from past mistakes. Now, what will be the biggest change between the present landscape and how cybersecurity leadership will evolve in the next five years and beyond? Well, we may see some cybersecurity culture directors who rally for both employee and executive support in protecting and enhancing the brand and customer experience, as well as hardware and data. So priorities will shift too. Cybersecurity leaders will own revenue generating responsibilities. They will contribute to strategic vision, manage expectations and innovative technologies like AI rollout and help uh, develop new technology roles non-existent today. As you probably heard, Gartner predicts that 40% of the boards will have a dedicated cybersecurity community a committee overseen by a qualified board member by 2025. Now, how is the cybersecurity landscape evolving on the path to 5G? The path to 5G is the future and it is unfolding faster than experts predict because of rising competition among communication service providers. According to Gartner, 5G is a revolution in technology. However, the transition will not occur overnight. With the many new ways to take advantage of low latency, high speed, and reliable computing, organizations need to be prepared with cybersecurity practices. There are a few things they can do, right? Number one is to understand the drivers for 5G business differentiation. Number two is cybersecurity for 5G connecting assets and what is a shared responsibility model between the network provider and the customer means. Number three, they need to have a zero trust and the rationale behind the framework as organizations approach 5G implementation. Now, one major driver of 5G is at and So what excites you about at and insights into cybersecurity and 5G? Well, uh, at and has a 36-page 30, cybersecurity insights report. 5G and the journey to edge is super helpful, insightful for me, right? There are a few things I pick it up from that report. Number one, companies are looking at 5G as a competitive advantage today. Number two, 5G adopters are also increasing adoption of software-defined networking, security virtualization, self-healing and automated network. Number three, security basic will be elevated in importance. Number four, 5G is fueling the ambition of IoT, right? It, it really connections billions of uh, low power internet of things, devices to the, um, a circular network. Uh, and then also 5G and the edge will really determine how you approach security. Many technology leaders feel uh, unprepared for 5G rollout today. Fewer, fewer than 10% respondents actually feel their security 
a posture is fully prepared. Lastly, is there will be a shared responsibility model between network provider and customers. So take a look at that report if you haven't uh, haven't done so. Now the volume of products and services connected by the internet is growing rapidly. So how can leaders in cybersecurity ensure they adapt and evolve just as quickly as technology does? The cyber threat landscape will continue to evolve. There will be a shift in IoT priorities to the security of things and the identity of things over the next two to five years. So AT&T cybersecurity, the company's solution to protecting organization and helping them inspire customer trust and innovation provider provides a wealth of insight right through the consultants yes it's actually these consultants are human not machine they manage they have managed security services and global threat intelligence and uh, there's AT&T alien labs for example they help companies of all sizes identify risk and respond to attacks the cybersecurity leaders list of priority will continue to evolve. And uh, even today, right, in some of the things might not be uh, imaginable. However, those who are open to learning, sharing knowledge, and integrating cybersecurity into their business strategy and culture will win in the longer term. So what more on cybersecurity can we expect from at and Business Summit at the end of the month? One uh, session I'm very excited about is Teresa Lanowitz. She will be speaking at at and Business Summit on Thursday, October 28th at 10.30 a.m. Central Time on security, on securing your supply chain in the 5G world. All right. Thanks, Helen Yu, founder and CEO at Tygon Advisory Corp. Thank you so much for being with us. The at and Business Summit is going virtual. Dive into the technology that is shaping the future. Register today at bizsummit.att.com.